Hello, my name is Han Sang Yi. Today, I will be presenting the results of the preliminary work on the test time mix of augmentation for uncertainty estimation in skin lesion diagnosis. In machine learning, the uncertainty as a measure indicates how likely the prediction is incorrect. There are various methods for estimating the uncertainty, and the uncertainty has been used for various applications such as error correction and active learning. One of the well-known methods for uncertainty estimation is the test time augmentation. In this method, the test data is first augmented by the affine-based data augmentation, and a trained network gives predictions for these augmented data, and from the class histogram of these predictions, we finally obtain the final prediction by majority dividing and the uncertainty by entropy. So in test time augmentation, we obtain the uncertainty as the instability of prediction caused by affine-based perturbation. Mix-up augmentation is one of the recent state-of-the-art data augmentation and regularization method for deep learning. The mix-up generates the training data by a linear combination of two data and assigns a soft label for this mixed data. The mix-up has been known to improve the generalization and robustness to the adversarial perturbation. So in our research, we apply this mix-up augmentation to the test time augmentation based on certain estimation method to explore its behavior and characteristics. So in our workflow, we first augment a test data by mix-up augmentation with a number of data sampled from the training set. The rest of the process is equivalent to those of the test time augmentation. In this test time mix of augmentation, we obtain the uncertainty as the instability of a prediction caused by this stronger mix of perturbation. In addition to the test time mix of augmentation for entire class data, we can perform mix of with one specific class for our test time mix of augmentation. We call the uncertainty estimated by this process the class-specific uncertainty. The class-specific uncertainty indicates the instability of prediction caused by mix-up with one specific class. We hypothesize that this uncertainty can be considered as the class similarity. If two classes are closed in a feature space, their mix-up perturbation is weak so that the class-specific class uncertainty would be low. And if two classes are far in the feature space, their mix of perturbation is strong so that the class specific uncertainty would be high. We observe whether our hypothesis makes sense through our experiment. To verify the effectiveness of our work, we performed an experiment on a public skin lesion diagnosis data set. We first compare the Propose test time mix of augmentation for the entire classes with the uncertainty of the affine based test time augmentation. In a histogram of test time augmentation uncertainty, it can be seen that the correct and incorrect samples are both presented at the zero uncertainty. In a histogram of our test time mix of augmentation uncertainty, there is a region where only correct samples are distributed in a low uncertainty area. From these distributions, we can confirm that the, our test time mix of augmentation has better separation between correct and incorrect samples than a conventional test time augmentation. To check whether the class specific uncertainty represents the class similarity, we observe the distribution of the class specific uncertainty for a specific class and example images for each class. You can see that uh, DF and AKIC with a low class specific uncertainty show similar image characteristics in right, as seen in the right images, whereas the melanoma and AKIC with the highest class specific uncertainty show kind of different image characteristics as shown in the example images in the right columns. So we can confirm that the class specific uncertainty indicates 
because similarity are learned by the network. So in summary, we have proposed the novel type of uncertainty estimation method using test time mix of augmentation ensemble. In our only experiment on the skin lesion diagnosis data set, we have observed that our uncertainty not only better separates the correct and incorrect test samples than a conventional affine based test time augmentation uncertainty, but also the novel class specific uncertainty can indicate how the similarity between classes is presented in the feature space. We will extend our work to the natural images such as C4 and ImageNet datasets to further analyze the results and the future works. Thank you for listening and we look forward to meet you at a posture session.